You might already know that I was in a documentary on Tubi called Evil Among Us, Ted Bundy. What you don't know is that during that documentary interview process, it was several hours, but only maybe 15 minutes of my contributions made it into the final piece, which is not uncommon. So here are some of the aspects of Ted Bundy I discussed that did not make it in that I think are noteworthy. Firstly, it's the family of origin contributions, which are very, very important. The documentary did a really good job at showing the family of origin and the history and telling the story about how Ted Bundy was born in a home for unwed mothers and his mother abandoned him in this orphanage and went home to her family only to be forced to come back by her father to get her son and bring him home. But because back in those days, if you had a child out of wedlock, it brought shame on the family. So his family had decided that Ted's grandparents were going to pose us as parents and his mom was going to pose as his sister. So he grew up believing that his mother was actually his sister until he realized the truth. But this started the ingrained belief that appearances matter, materialism matters, and that served to make Ted all the more dangerous. Ted was very good at putting on the mask of sanity. He knew exactly how to play the role to put out the image that he wanted, and that was something he learned very young from his own family. He knew that posing as somebody affluent, that going out with affluent crowds, that networking with higher socialites, and getting a higher education was going to make him appear as one of the rest, somebody that you didn't have to fear. And it makes sense why he feigned injury a lot of the times when he was out so-called hunting. Number two, the systemic racism that allowed Ted to get away with what he did for so long. The first time I heard about Ted Bundy, I was at my non and papa's house. And for those that are new here, my papa was the chief of the Chicago Crime Lab. He worked on Gacy, he worked on SPAC, and he co-created the rape kit. And Ted Bundy came on the news because it was around the time of his execution. And I remember this. And what I remember most about this was that the news was talking about Ted Bundy's crimes, but they were really emphasizing the shock within the communities that this white, affluent, highly educated, charming man who's handsome would do something like this. So here's how the systemic racism of our country allowed Ted to be the perfect predator. He was white. White people who come from good families who are educated don't do these things. They're not someone we should be looking at. His story at that time had really shocked everybody. And I think the story of Ted Bundy is so critical and one that we should never stop telling because it really highlights the systemic racism and our false sense of security. You might already know that I was in a documentary on Tubi called Evil